Hello class. Now we go to example two. So here is example two questions. Example two is uh, drawing the signal y n equals to one plus cos five multiply with n. So equal to zero one two until infinity. So in this case, we just set it at until 10 to plot our graph okay so now we will start as usual we will have n equals to okay now we are plotting 0 until 10 okay but now the interval we put as 1 so that your interval will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until 10. Okay. So then we put our signal. So you refer just now your signal is y equals to 1 plus cos. So bracket 5 multiply with our n. Okay, then we put it at figure. Okay, we should plot figure. So now we put figure number two. Okay, then we subplot. So subplot, you also want to put two plot two graph. One is uh continue, uh, one is continuous, and another one is discrete. So we have two graph. So your n and p is your row and your column. So we have so column. Okay. So then we will have plot. So n n our x axis and our y axis. So then now you have to label our um our x axis and y axis. So x axis is x label. So now your x axis is an n. So we label as n. Okay, then we have y axis. We label it. Okay. So we label as a y. Okay. Now we have to label our title. So title of our graph. So this title of our graph we label as a okay continuous. Yeah. Okay. Okay. signal. Okay. Then we also want to plot our another graph is our stem, our discrete graph. So same also we plot from n, comma y. Okay. So same also we have x axis and y axis. Okay, the label and now is descriptive. Okay, so you just run this code, right click, you will do it. Okay, now ah, oh, because we forget to uh, run this one, so we run whole thing. Uh, okay, run the whole thing, so it will display busy. Okay, when you're done, it will come out the graph. Oh, this one is a script. So I have an advantage in switch the software. So maybe we have some problem here. Ah, yeah, because we forget to put the subplot. So normally the they will have the error come out after warning. I want unable to display the graph because we forget to write the subplot for the another one. So subplot. Now we want to have the second graph as below. So that's why you see MATLAB is very clever. When you are writing something error, it will come out warning or whatever. So it will do it again. Okay. So if you we put two two. Uh,
Okay, so when you can come out the correct graph here. So you, we just now we put the wrong location, so one one and one two. So we only will come out the figure one one and one two here. Okay, so this one is a line and a column. Okay, so we have labeled the graph as well. So for example, now you you like to plot the graph with a more finite interval. So we just change here one. Maybe you now you change to um, zero point two maybe. Okay. Oh, oh, we try zero by one. Okay, we try zero by one. Okay, so you plot again. So you can see your graph is more. Ah, uh, you have the more ah uh, the more high resolution graph. So you will get a cos graph because if you if you see your your graph is a cos phi n. So you plot like this. Okay. So. Uh, okay, so and you, you you can know your value of the n and the y. So you can see here, you double click at the n. So if this is the value, the n, okay, you see? Our n is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So this one is the value of our x axis, okay? You also have our value for the y axis, okay? This one is our value of the uh, y, uh, y value at each point. Lah. So which one? The first one is 2 is the first point, 0 when it, n equals to 0. So when n equals to 0 0.1, you will get 1.95. So it already counts for you everything until the number 10. Okay. So it already got in the graph here. Okay, clear? Okay, thank you.